Hello, my name is Elizabeth Malecki, and today I will be discussing the life and work of scientist Dean Hammer and his research within the world of genetics. Dean Hammer was born on May 29, 1951, in Montclair, New Jersey. His parents were Warren Hammer, who was a writer, and Mary Lou Hammer, who was an art dealer. He attended Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut for his bachelor's degree, and then he went on to obtain his PhD in biological chemistry from Harvard Medical School. He has had multiple jobs, including working at the U.S. National Institute of Health, where he was the chief of the gene structure and regulation section. This is also where his research on treatment for HIV and AIDS was done. His other work included forming the company Q Waves with Joe Wilson, where he has directed various documentaries. This includes Out in the Silence, A Place in the Middle, and Latest in Waiting. Dean Hammer has also co-wrote a New York Times bestseller with Peter Copeland. This was titled Living with Our Genes. He has also wrote The Science of Desire and The God Gene, How Faith is Hardwired into Our Genes. Dean Hammer has made many discoveries and advances in the genetic field throughout his life. This not only includes his books and his works on HIV and AIDS, but also within the human genome. At Harvard University, with a team of other scientists, he was able to add new genes to animal cells using SV40 vectors. This has led to production of biomedical products such as human growth hormone and a vaccine for hepatitis B. His most well-known studies have involved studying if there is a genetic link to being homosexual. These studies were well known due to the controversy that surrounded the experiment. He has published research that determines that there are certain genes in men that can dictate whether a man will be homosexual or heterosexual. This was published in his paper titled, Linkage Between Sexual Orientation and Chromosome XQ28 in Males. He studied the X gene and looked at the specific chromosome XQ28, which is located on the subtelomeric region of the long arm on the X chromosome. Within this study, he determined this gene was passed down by the mother in an X chromosome and found a correlation between men that had this gene and their sexuality. For this experiment, he studied 76 homosexual men who were unrelated and another 38 homosexual men who were brothers. Not only did he study the men genetically, but also did research on the social aspects of their lives. To first study their genetics, he thoroughly researched each of the family trees, the family's medical history, and tested the DNA in all of the men and their, their willing family's blood. He also had the men fill out a questionnaire relating to their sexuality, which he measured with the Kinsey scale. The Kinsey scale is a controversial method of rating someone's sexuality on a range. He found that certain families that had a history of homosexual men on the mother's side of the family, rather than the paternal side, due to this, he attributed it to the X chromosome. His research was very controversial among both scientists and the people within the LGBTQ community, not only for scientific issues, but also for a lot of the social re reasons. It was first praised by members of the LGBTQ plus community for putting an end to the debate about choosing to be gay or not, but gave homophobes a reason to say homosexuals were not genetically normal. This experiment was a lot of interest for many other scientists and was actually replicated among a group of independent scientists who published their findings in a Scientific American article. This article stated that when they replicated the research, they actually found no evidence linking homosexuality to the X chromosome, and that while it might be true, it's not been proven. These
these two different results from these experiments led to many more teams of scientists repeating it. And although this has been researched a lot, it is still being debated and we cannot confirm or deny that, is, that homosexuality is linked to your genes. Thank you so much for listening. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Malecki and today I will be discussing the life and work of scientists